Hey everyone, what is up? Another quick mass transit update. Version 8.2 is getting ready to drop. It's almost ready to go. It's been in preview for months. It's got a lot of new features in it, most notably the SQL transport. And I just kind of wanted to give you an update on when that's coming. Should be in the next few days. I also wanted to take a minute to talk about one of the really unique features, I think, of the SQL transport that makes it really kind of stand apart from a lot of the other systems out there and the other brokers. So I have a piece of code here. It's using the Postgres transport. So you can see I'm using AdMass Transit using Postgres. And then I have the, uh, I'm configuring a receive endpoint. Now I'm doing this manually. You can do this with the add configure endpoints callback or in a consumer definition, really any way you want to. But what I want to show is just some of the configurability of the SQL transport. Prefetch count, everybody knows that one. In this case, I've got a consumer that's really CPU intensive, so I want to use as many cores as possible, but leave the system enough to do some processing. So I'm going to set the prefetch count just so I know the number of messages to receive. And I know this is going to take a lot of time. So sometimes people reach for job consumers. You don't really need to with the database transport because it's able to do some pretty long locks. There's really not a limit. Um, in this case, I set the lock duration to 10 minutes. And I set the max lock duration to hours, like six. Because the database transport is gonna renew that lock every you know, three minutes or five minutes in this case, you really don't have a risk of you know, running that consumer multiple times. So it really gives you some flexibility without having to reach for a heavier tool in the toolbox. Um, so that's kind of another nice feature. Another one that is kind of cool is I don't wanna necessarily do retry and redeliver and scheduling and every that. The transport can handle that self. Now this is optional, just kind of a cool thing to show, but I wanna rethrow the faulted messages, which basically gives it back to the transport and says, hey, I'm not ready to handle this. In this case, I've set the max delivery count to 10 and what's called an unlock delay to 10 seconds. Now what that's gonna do is if the consumer faults, Mass Transit is going to kick that message back to the SQL transport. It's going to increment the delivery count, and it's going to set the unlock delay to 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, that message will be available to be re-delivered to another consumer. So kind of nice if you just want the transport to do re-delivery without rescheduling and all that. Of course, you can use the standard use schedule, use delayed re-delivery and have a retry policy and all that, and everything's great there. So that is always still possible to do. The thing I really want to talk about, though, is this set receive mode. So set receive mode, the SQL transport has a number of receive modes, and I'll kind of show you the list in this enum here. So first is normal, which means it acts like any broker. All messages are just kind of come in in priority order based on when they were in queued. Um, another one that we have available is called partition. And partition means that using the partition key, it is going to deliver the messages but only one message per partition key will be delivered at a time. So all things considered, it just says, hey, if this partition key is the same, I'm only gonna deliver one message at a time. We also have partition concurrent where we can say, hey, I wanna be delivered messages by partition, but if you give me messages from partition one and there's four messages for it, go ahead and give me those messages up to the, partition, the prefetch count. So that's another great option when you wanna just kinda of handle messages in a clump, like especially if you're using the batch consumer with a really short timeout to just say, oh, I just got five messages within the same partition. I want to do something with them. So that's a great way to really improve the throughput of pulling messages out of the broker. Another one is called partitioned ordered. And the way this works is that messages will always be processed in order per partition. So if you have message one, two, and three in partition A, those messages will always be delivered one, two, three, and if one fails, it will still deliver one again. So it will always deliver the messages in order and won't deliver subsequent messages until those earlier messages are processed. We also have a concurrent version which says, hey, if you give me partition A and there's four messages, give me one, two, three, four in order, and I will process those together in order. And then if there's a five, six, seven, eight later down the road, those would be delivered in a subsequent delivery to a consumer. So kind of a cool option. It really gives you some flexibility in how you want to process messages using the SQL transport. Of course, these are supported on both Postgres and SQL Server. So either dialect, it has support. Um, and that's going to be available in Mass Transit 8.2. So keep an eye on the NuGet feeds. I'll definitely post on Twitter when the release is available. Um, check the Discord channel if you're looking for any updates, things like that. 
Other than that, we'll catch you later. Thanks for joining.